Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to install awesome custom themes on your PS Vita. So all you need for this video is a PS Vita with HNCore and Vita Shell installed. So this pretty much works on any PS Vita version. Um, if you want a tutorial video for it, make sure you check out the video on my channel. But anyway guys, let's get into this. So all you want to do is just go ahead and launch Vita Shell. From here what you want to do is just press select and then you want to connect your PS Vita to your PC in USB mode. You can also select FTP mode, it's entirely up to you, um, whatever is easier. Right guys, so once you're on your PC, I will leave a link to this website in the description, but it's very simple guys, all you're looking for is the VPK button right here. So all you do is just click it and then it is just going to start downloading the CT Manager VPK file. So once it's finished downloading, all you want to do is just head over to your PC's downloads folder. Um, here is mine, it's CT Manager, and as you can see, here is my PS Vita connected in the USB cable mode. So it's up to you where you put this VPK file, but I'm just going to drag it to the root of my PS Vita, so then it is much easier to find. So once it's on there, all you want to do now is just disconnect your PS Vita from your PC, and I will show you guys how to install these custom themes. Right guys, so once you're back on your PlayStation Vita, you, if this message is still up, you can just press circle to cancel it. And what you want to do, depending on what type of SD card you've got, so if you've got SD the Vita, you need to use UR0. If you've just got a normal SD card like me, then you just use UX0. So once you're in at that file, all you want to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom of the file, and you're looking for the CT Manager VPK that you just copied across. Um, if you put it into a folder, then obviously go into that folder. But all you want to do is just press X on it. It's going to say, do you want to install this package? Just press X for yes. It's then just going to come up with another, another message um, saying, do you trust it and stuff like that. Just press X. And now it is going to start installing. So if you haven't got um, unknown homebrew sources enabled, you will need to enable that in the Henkaku settings on your PS Vita settings. So once it, it has finished installing, all you want to do is press circle, then just press the PlayStation Vita's home button and you will now go to the home screen. You can now completely close out of Vita shell. And guys, as you can see, here it is, new application installed, and it is called Custom Themes Manager. So what you want to do is select it, and then it just press X to open it. Then just press X on Start. So it's going to load up just like this, and we have several options here. We have Download a Custom Theme, um, which we'll be using. You have Install a Custom Theme from a folder. Um, that's if you don't want to enable internet access on your PS Vita, so you can just copy them across. But it's just, you know, a harder way of doing it, really. Uh, we've got Uninstall a Custom Theme if you want to delete them from the folder. And then we've got um, Catch and Backup Management. But the one we want to use because this is the most important feature is download a custom theme. So just press X to go onto it. You must have internet connection enabled because it is going to connect to the redscrew87.com which is the website that holds all of the custom themes. It's then just going to come up with loading themes list and it will load very fast. So here we are, we're on the website right now. And there are tons of really cool custom themes that we get to choose from. So to scroll through the pages, all you do is use the left and right buttons up here. So we press right um, to go next. Then it's just going to download the page contents again. Then we're just going to go right again. So what I'm going to do now is just look for a theme um, that I like the look of. And then I can install it. So let's just find one. Um, I might have to browse through quite a few pages to find one that I actually like. Right guys, so once you find a theme that you like, you can either just tap it, or you can just press X on it. And basically, what you want to do guys, you just want to press X to install the theme. So it's now going to connect and start downloading. So as you can see, um, let's see how big the file size is. So it looks like it's going to be a few megabytes. So you go, just finished, and I think it was about 5.42 megabytes. So kind of small file, obviously you don't want too many but not really too large. So once you get on this kind of screen, what you want to do is you just want to press the start button 
um, and then what this is going to do is just going to install it super fast and now it says custom theme installed successfully what you can do here is press X and now it will bring you to the main menu so now you can look at the other options you've got uninstall custom theme if you wish to remove it I'll just show you guys quickly so there's two themes here uh, one I got and one I got earlier obviously all you do is just press X to delete it but I'm going to keep these ones so I'm just going to press circle to go back so I think we're pretty much done in here there's install custom theme from our folder and that's more if you make your own theme which I'll probably cover in another video but anyway press the PSV to home button and you can now completely close this down so don't worry guys if your custom theme isn't installed because what you need to do is actually go to the system settings right here then just press start Once you're on the system settings, all you want to do is scroll down until you find theme and background, press X on that, then just press X on theme, and as you can see guys, now the theme that I just got is displaying in our system settings. So if you press X on it and then press select, it's now just going to install the custom theme, then just go back a few times, press the PSV to home button, close out of um, the settings, and there you go guys, our custom theme is running. Um, by the way, this does have like the custom theme sound as well, um, which is actually pretty cool. But yeah, there you go. That is how you get custom themes um, on the PS Vita. Obviously, there are a lot better themes than this. I just pretty much got this one for this video. I probably won't actually be using it. But it should have come with a custom lock screen as well. Um, let's just have a look. There you go, custom lock screen, which you can open. So yeah, that is how you get custom themes on the PS Vita on the latest version with HN Core and Vita Shell. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I also have an Instagram, um, maybe you guys didn't know, so I'll leave a link to that if you guys want to follow me. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.